Now at 11, George Zimmerman shooting. He is not looking for trouble. He did not want trouble. He's not uh, following George Zimmerman around. A bullet just misses Zimmerman's head. And the man suspected of pulling the trigger is no stranger. Doctors treated and released Zimmerman at a Central Florida hospital. Good evening. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Rick Fulbaum. And so far, no one is charged on this case. CBS 4's Ted Scouten joins us live from Lake Mary, where all this went down today. Ted. Yeah, Rick and Erica, the man who is accused of shooting at George Zimmerman is not talking to police. He invoked his right to remain silent. His attorney, however, is talking, saying that all of this is a case of self-defense. Tell us what happened out there today. Hey, you touch me? Stop touching me. So this is your opportunity to tell your side of the story. This court. is your opportunity to get out of my face right now. No comment. While smoking a cigarette outside the Lake Mary Police Department, Matt Apperson wants nothing to do with reporters. A couple hours later, surrounded by his wife, mom, and attorney, he's much more calm, letting his family speak for him. I have faith that the justice system is going to work in this case. Matt is a good man. Apperson, who has a concealed weapons permit, is accused of shooting at George Zimmerman while the two drove down a Lake Mary Street. This bullet hole was left in Zimmerman's passenger window. Apperson's attorney said his client acted in self-defense. He is not looking for trouble. He did not want trouble. He's not uh, following George Zimmerman around. While Zimmerman himself is not speaking, his attorney tells quite a different version of the story. But he was taunting him and making comments, what are you going to do, shoot me now, sort of thing. Zimmerman and Apperson have quite a history that goes back to September. Apperson said they had run-ins twice, once in a car where he claims Zimmerman threatened to kill him, the other time in a strip mall parking lot. Apperson made a report but did not press charges. He didn't want, he didn't want the fanfare, he didn't want the attention. Zimmerman's attorney brought up those past encounters, speaking of this latest incident. It was pretty clear to George at that point that he was with the same person that he'd had the problem with several months before. Zimmerman was acquitted of the shooting death of Miami Gardens teen Trayvon Martin in July of 2013. Since then, he's been accused in several domestic violence cases and the road rage incident with Epperson. He has not been charged in any of them. And at this point, we are not getting any details as to what caused all this in this latest case. And by the way, tomorrow we should be hearing that 911 call. Live in Lake Mary, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News Tonight. Ted, thank you.